What's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna be doing something different, as it's been brought to my attention that I've played against uh, the Alpha Star, or the Google DeepMind Vault. So I figured we'll have a look at the replay. I played this game 5-6 uh, days ago, and actually remembered the game, as it, uh, it was a memorable one for sure. It lasted for about 13 minutes. Uh, and I'm just very curious to see what he does. So I opt to go for a no scout this game. And my opponent went for a, I think it was a 17 pool. Which in general is not a great situation for the person no scouting. As he will be able to get in with links as we'll see later. Uh, even sends out the good luck have fun. Let's say 17 hatch on the natural. After a pool first. I guess. So he's... He's not playing very standard at all. Most of the time you'll see the hatch first, of course. So, slightly different. I'm just opening uh, standard Nexus core. Uh, with my probe, I see four links. And at this point, I'm like, ah, this is really, really bad for me because I'll need to pull probes to defend this pylon. There will be no unit out for a while. And it will cost me a lot of mining time and put me in a very poor position. Uh, any kind of follow-up that I do after this, will most likely not do very much. Um, so just chrono boost and adapt, pull 10 probes. Can pull maybe eight, should also be fine, but it's uh, it, it's hard to say. Actually, I, yeah, I, I pull about 10, I think, 10 probes. It's a safe number, he can't really micro properly against it. He, he probably should be forcing me to fight a little longer around the pylon and then when he gets closer to this one finishing, then move up. I think he moved around for no real reason. He could have uh, probably done some damage on one of the probes. Um, so for how, how poor this build order matches up for me, my start is actually pretty good because he micros in a pretty weird way. Then he decides to chase a low HP probe um, rather than attacking different probes and forcing them off mining time. I mean, any player that is good enough will be able to micro this probe away continuously. And it's something that I noticed when I watched this game the first time is that most of the time the Alpha Star prefers um, looking for easy victories and trying to poke holes in your defense rather than playing very solid itself. Um, it seems to believe that the aggressive play is a lot better than defensive play, or at least so far, but I I'm not. I, I'm not very impressed by it so far. It really didn't get anything done with something that is a, a very good build order opening for him, for it, for her, whatever I should address it at. Um, I decide to go for a 3-gate Glaive with DT, which is a rather uncommon build. Um, a lot of the top guys would struggle with it as well, as it's not something you see a lot in the meta. And it's kind of difficult to prepare against because initially there will be a wave of glaive adapts followed up by a three to four dt warp in either heading to your third or your main base usually against glaive you want to delay your layer um, but against dts you wouldn't want to delay your layer so it's a bit of a tricky spot you can't quite defend it with pure links um, but it hits kind of early for roaches and building spores against glaives while getting roaches is kind of difficult so um, it is a cute move, I'm trying to kill the stalker, if there's only a single unit in the wall, you can always try, but it won't matter too much. I built a fourth base, I'm going for 40 T warp in. <coughs> After my uh, my warp in, play the depths. But this is where it kind of gets interesting, so at this point i'm already ahead in workers i'm up three workers so technically i don't need to do too much i can just move out on the map and if i don't kill anything i just take a third myself i think i'm in a pretty okay position i'm gonna have some map control uh his creep spread sucks pretty hard i would say he only has three queens so far as well which is extremely odd any professional player at this point would have four queens get that creep spread going get that extra vision um alpha star on the other hand Decides not to. I move out with four adepts. And once again, he will go for the wall here, I believe, which I thought was a very odd decision. I only have six adepts, so I'm very afraid to shade into the natural. But instead, what I do is I split up. 
but you can see that if I wouldn't have split up here and sent everything into the natural, at this moment he has seven links at home and I have six adapts here with the glaives. He would lose seven, eight drones and have absolutely no chance. Because I split them, he can actually fight them easier. Uh, I was at, at, when Once I saw this run by, I, I really was anticipating roaches and I was like, ah, there's gonna be roaches, so it's better to split them and just target down drones. But I was wrong, he just played extremely risky. And it didn't really pay off because I still get a lot of damage done. I mean, he doesn't really have any defenses ready. My work account is still ahead. And he doesn't have a spore at this base, which I see. Uh, I'm not aware if he has a lair or not, but I'm guessing he doesn't have a lair. I just sent my 3 DTs to his third. And at this point, I know the game is... In my head, it's pretty much over. So at this point, I'm thinking, ah, oh, this guy is 5'8", five, 5'7". Five, I'm just gonna destroy him a little bit. Warp in another DT. And the best play for me at this point would be to go back with my prism over here or over here. Morph these DTs into Archons, take a third base and start Immortal production, as well as get a Forge. But instead what I do, because I thought he wasn't that, that hot, I was like, alright, let's just try to end the game as fast as possible. I don't want to waste my time on this guy. So I just go for the natural and I think I warp in uh, three or four more DTs because I'm like, ah, come on man, leave the game. It's time to go, my friend. Um, this actually was a good move, moving this far. Even though if I would have not been warping in, I could have picked up these DTs and then moved to the main and just keep juggling in between the bases and there's no way he would have been able to win. Uh, I also made a misjudgment here. I thought I could fight these links for a while, but I really couldn't. Of course, I'm still in a fantastic position. I'm up about 10 workers. Um, he doesn't have a third base, which is good. My prism is alive. I still have 40 DTs, but if I would have done some things different, the game could have been over. So once again, he kind of... It feels more like that he's praying for mistakes of his opponent rather than actually uh, playing properly or playing well, playing defensively well. And maybe it has the most success with it so far, but I think in order to climb higher, it will need to either get better all in or uh, need, need to change up the playstyle a little bit. So the rest of the game, I mean, He's down a base, he's down 15 supply. I don't think he's very good, so I think what I'm doing right now is that I'm just gonna try to kill him as soon as possible because I don't really wanna waste my time. I warp in four more DTs after scouting that his lair was kinda late and he didn't have an overshare or a spore over here. So I was like, ah, okay, that's fine. Let's just kill your third base then. So I, I go to his third base again, it goes down. I mean, usually in this kind of situation, the supplies would be pretty much reversed. He should be at like 160 supply, maybe 170 supply, and I should be at 120 supply. But instead I have 141 supply and he has 120. He's still on four gas as well, 61 drones, so he's still down in drones. And he doesn't have any tech except for Roach Ravager, which... I mean, you can stay alive on Roach Ravager for a long time, but there's no real win condition for it in here. The only win condition he truly has is if I get a stroke or a heart attack and forget to move my units for I don't know, a minute or two, three. And I, I dance in his bios. Perhaps it's possible then. He, the one thing actually that did kind of surprise me is his complete lack of creep threat as well. I haven't really denied any creep. He just hasn't really been spreading. I mean, these two tumors are, have been ready for a long, long time. Uh, I, I'm not sure if this is because the the APM limitations, but he's, he seems rather quick. Um, I mean, he has an average APM of 240. I have an average APM of 300 in this game. Like, it's definitely what lost him the game, the, the APM limitations. He just seems to be not, not that strong strategically yet. So here we move across the map. I'm like, all right, time to die. Even have a couple of tempers with me. Getting my plus two upgrade. Once again, there's still no creep whatsoever. The one thing I thought was pretty cute was that he kept expanding again and again. So I didn't even know he had a fort, I believe. Okay, I didn't know he had a fort. I wasn't aware of the fifth base yet. Um, so I think soon I'll kill the fourth base and then, which is technically the third now. Yeah. Can't really fight with pure Rose Ravager against uh, 
powerful immortal storm. Um, he does micro nicely, like he has the the two groups that are being microed pretty much simultaneously. And he's extremely quick at it. He's trying his best to micro, but still kind of dances in storm. So I think our good friend Alpha Star still has a lot to to learn from uh, from the latter. And I hope uh, in a couple of months he will be a lot stronger and can show finally show some strategical innovation. Because so far, all I've really seen from Alpha Star is either extremely greedy play or extremely aggressive play, whether that be Link Floods or just a weird Road Ravager all in. He doesn't really seem to have a grasp on any kind of good mid game compositions or really any safe openers, which I was kind of hoping for at this point. But I'm sure the boys at Google will be uh, getting to that soon. So yeah, just figured it was an interesting game and I posted it on my YouTube. Because I haven't posted anything at all. So I hope you enjoyed it. If not, you can suck it. And I'll, uh, I'll see your boys next time for another video. Adios.